In this video, I briefly covered the AFFF electrical system, but the main emphasis is, is in SOPV, solenoid operator valves. Before we continue, remember, if you find the material in this video too technical, please watch earlier videos where I cover basic electrical knowledge. Keep in mind that the first 28 videos are best understood if you follow their sequential order. Now, back to our video. Go. The AFFF system is a little bit more complicated than this, but the gist of it is this. So somewhere, uh, let's say it's a fire and somebody wants to press the uh, hose reel button. So whenever they press, they put, well, a signal into uh, the SOPV valve open uh, coil. So when the SOPV valve opens, that, that SOPV opens a local valve for, well, the sprinkler. But then one of the, normally, one of the uh, switches uh, is wired so that it's open whenever the valve is closed. But whenever the valve opens, it just connects that and then it sends also power to energize another valve which is the slave valve. This valve which uh, when it shifts to um, open it will also energize, uh, not energize but open uh, the power troll valve. And another thing that it does is another set of contacts that are inside there will cause the, mo the motor controller to energize the motor and the motor will start rotating and that's how the AFFF system works. Now, at the bottom of this over here, uh, you got seawater going in and pretty much what it does is it, it puts hydraulic pressure into this power troll valve to open it and same thing for the uh, local hose reel valve. So the valve does both uh, mechanical uh, actu actuation of a valve via hydraulic uh, medium and then also will electrically energize another valve. Alright, so a moment ago I said that an SOPV valve will energize another valve or a controller and pretty much the way how it works is there will be a hot lead coming in and then when the valve opens it will close a set of switches put in power or command to either uh, energize an SOPV valve or for the motor controller to start the motor. So here I'm trying to illustrate an AFFF valve. This section over here is the valve, the valve is closed, this is the open coil, this is the closed coil, and these are the micro switches. Notice that these two micro switches, well, the cloma, the common and this normally closed are shorter right now, but this one over here is open. Far away we got our open command and our close command push buttons and then we got 440, which we're gonna call it green power and orange power. So what happens if you uh, press this one over here? Well, you are putting orange power to the valve, but notice that the valve doesn't have green power because the close and this part over here where the valve is connected, they are not shorted. However, if you press the open command, uh, you will put orange power on the valve, and the, look, the valve has already, through this over here, this close switch already has green power, so the valve will shift. Three, go. Notice that the valve immediately shift now is open, this thing change, and these guys change. So therefore, by this micro switch shifting, it will no longer put green power on the solenoid uh, coil, uh, so therefore this will be dead again, and now, even if I were to press the open again, well, nothing will happen. If I were to press the close command over here, the opposite will happen because uh, well, by pressing this one, I'm putting orange power to the valve, but the valve already has green power because due to this shift over here, the valve is ready to be energized. This protects both the coils so that whenever you press the command, immediately it shifts this, uh, the valve itself kills itself power to the coil so the coil will burn up, burn up. If you bypass this, let's say that you were to connect this one is straight there. Now, for as long as you press this button, that long this coil will be energized. And if you were to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up burning this coil. Go. As well. SOPV valve over here, SOPV valves, they are both electrically and mechanical valves and the mechanical side or rather water side. So we are controlling seawater of, of firemen and it's always closed 
And then when it opens, it sends firemen into what is called a power troll valve to open that big valve. So in that way, if we don't have power, we can just simply stick our finger in here, a hand in here with a lower glove because there is four four in here. And then when we shift it, we actually uh, open and we send valve, uh, water or firemen to open that uh, power troll valve. But now, uh, there is a way to do it electrically and that is via push buttons. So whenever they press a push button, it will energize this solenoid that what it does, it just pulls the whole mechanism doing the same thing as me sticking my hand over here. Now, electrically, these solenoids, both of them, this is my open solenoid and this is my closed solenoid. My open solenoid is, uh, if you follow the wires, there is one and then there is these two wires belong to my open solenoid. So therefore, these other two wires over here belong to my closed uh, solenoid. Now, very important to note is that we got switches. The micro switches are actually located inside there and all of these wires, they are connected into this terminal board for easier connections. We got three sections of micro switches. So that is why the normally close, normally uh, close, the common and the open, that is the red, the blue, and the green ones, and it's just for easy identification. Now, these ones are for auxiliary com uh, uh, components. As a matter of fact, today we'll be wiring these two over here so that we will command the ATFF pump to start when the valve uh, is shifted to, uh, from, from close to open. This side is, is wired in a way that, so, if you pay attention, right now the valve is closed. So what we need the valve is to open. This is my open solenoid. So we gotta give priority to this open solenoid. The push button for open is gonna be wired into this one. So whenever they press the push button to open, this one will get energized, the valve will shift. But this wire has to be energized. The common wire will be connected here and we need this wire to be shorted with the common wire. And let's see, we put the multimeter and we see a short over there. So this, this valve is the one that we want to energize, so therefore that's why that's the one at the, at the continuity. So there will be one phase of power over here, energizing, having this one ready to be energized, only waiting for the open push button signal to come in. Once the open push button comes in, the valve will quickly shift, and now we have a... This is a brand new valve. I got my normally closed, normally, uh, and, and then common, and as I put it over there, and as I'm shifting the valve, it, well, right now it's working, but it is, but it's not. See how the multimeter cannot make its decision? And that's because this lever over here is not fully activated. So we're gonna have to adjust this valve. We're gonna have to tie this little Allen wrench over here so that this will engage a little early so that get it very close. In the video, you might be able to hear the the, uh, the micro switches actually engaging. It's very important that all three micro switches, three different clicks actually here.